Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And we're going to be what's called bleeding the brakes. It's actually, in this case, we're going to be pumping the brakes up, because uh, in typical bleed, like on a car, you pressurize the system, you bleed the valve, blow the air out and some fluid, until you get a solid stream of fluid. But in this case, on our systems, we're going to be pumping up this thing. Now, there are two ways you can do this. The simplest way is to buy yourself one of these little... Um, uh, oil pump guns, some clear tubing, uh, a, a bead clamp, a band clamp to hold it, a band clamp to grab the bead nut with, and then a clamp to grab it really nice and tight. And the bead nut's right down here on the bottom. Once you get it clamped in, you take a quarter inch wrench, you break it loose. Now we've broken it loose, but we have a much bigger pumping facility, and we're going to be bleeding, uh, pumping the brake all the way up because we rebuilt the caliper, so it's got no fluid in it. And we're going to start that process now by pressurizing the valve and letting the fluid run uphill and then we're going to go look to see how much we're getting upstairs standby in the airplane what we basically have is a peanut butter jar and we've uh, pulled out the plug we've put in a plug with the eighth inch pipe threads and now we're just going to be waiting to see fluid come up through that line uh, and all the air bubbles associated with it and we're still waiting it's fairly empty so it's going to take a minute or so for it to pump up Waiting for the fluid to come up. You can see bubbles starting to come through the line. Got no leaks at the other fittings. Pretty soon we'll be seeing fluid coming down this line along with all the air bubbles. So it's bleeding along. Here comes the fluid and as you can get in close you can see the little air bubbles. We're going to keep flowing. We'll probably flow about five or six ounces until we absolutely make sure we have all the bubbles out. Now the line's coming clear. So we're going to go down and turn it off. But this completes braking, pumping up the brakes from the bottom in a Grumman. So thanks for watching, and we hope you find this informative. And have a good day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.